Okay. Um, okay, guys, I'm trying to uh, do something I haven't done before. This is a multicam setup. So I have a desktop recording as well as uh, a camera right here simultaneously. I'm trying to do uh, this demo. So basically, this is about uh, programming your radio. This is for radios. And uh, I got here one of the demo units that I'm using right now for the purpose. This is a Bowfang UV5R Plus radio. It's a newer version. It's a very, very good radio. Simple but very good. Now, the programming is uh, tricky. Because, for example, I got this TYT cable. I'm going to show it to the camera. It's a regular plug for this and the USB on the other hand. Uh, the problem, the other one I have, this red one, it says versus Windows 10, also means versus Windows 11, same plug, and uh, these are for programming radios. So this is the hardware that you need for programming radios. The software is uh, on this screen, I'm using Chirp. Chirp, 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 this is a universal programming uh, software, free available, and uh, the problem is, that these cables require a so-called driver to install that that's called prolific driver now it's available you can do it mess around with it but it's a major pain in the neck because uh, for example I have this uh, USB hop here and uh, if you use a different USB connection the next time then you have to reinstall the hub again I mean the, the prolific driver again so that's that's uh, basically I want to show what what happens. I'm gonna use this. First of all, let me connect to the radio. So it goes on the side. This is the programming uh, socket. Turn it on. And now, uh, what we want to do is plug this thing in. There was a little recognition driver recognition noise and try to go to the download and this is a whole bunch of options but uh, when I try to connect nothing is working see nope nothing and you can go through every single one of them and still not now there's a help me uh, solution it's very very good basically you unplug the driver your connection Plug it back in, your, your cable, click, load up, and it's supposed to recognize. Unfortunately, your cable appears to be on port. This is not prolific PL2303. Please contact your supplier, COM10. So even if I try to do, let's say, a custom and enter COM10, uh, what? Why can't I? Oh, there you go. Come 10. Let's give it a shot. Nothing. It's not working. Major, major pain in the butt. Now let's try this one again. This is another cable. This is from Voxul. It's another company. It's turned on. Let's try it again. Plugged it in. Go to Chirp Radio. Download, I select the buffer UV5R and again try something. Nope, nothing. Nothing. Uh, if we try the help, help, again, unplug, so it tells you what to do. Second step, plug back in. To dim, it recognizes something. Yep, but still unable to do anything with this. Hmm. At least it didn't freeze the <laughs> software. So, basically, if you have any of these cables, just uh, junka junka. Okay, just throw them the hell away. I just told you, I just kept them to do this. Then when I'm done, I'm gonna throw them out. Now, what you need to buy is one of these cables. Uh, for example because this uh, it has an FTDI so-called FTDI chip okay it is a little lens 
I'm gonna line up the same programming cable, but it comes with uh, this this particular uh, programming cable came from Baofeng, and uh, it tells all about it. So it's called FTDI. Check it, and make sure that if you buy a, a cable, a programming cable, it is it has the FTDI chip. Otherwise, you have all sorts of headaches, you know, with your programming. Uh, it also tells you where the FTDI latest uh, software is available for your computer if you want to install. Now, there are a whole bunch of packages there. You might find a whole bunch of packages, but the best if you just uh, download the executable version. Maybe I can go there. Let's go there. Uh, let me open up a browser here. Out of here. What's the address over there? It says ftdichip.com drivers ecp htm. Let's see what happens. Oops, that page cannot be found. Try the tdichip drivers uh, drivers. UCP HTM. Yep, there it is. Right. Okay, and now on this, guys, as you can see, there's a whole bunch of lists for Windows Desktop, Windows Universal. The Universal package has both the 32 bit and the 64 bit, but for Windows 11, you need the 64 bit. Now these packages do not contain an executable file, however, here, setup executable, this is a regular blah 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 dot exe file, and this is what I recommend because it will recognize your system and installs the drivers uh, for your computer, if you want it. But again, uh, probably you don't have to do this, I just want to do it as a demo, because what happens with this kind of FTDI enabled, that it says, you see, FTDI, this is FTDI enabled chip, uh, cable, and what happens is, put it, right. uh, let's try it from the download, again, help, unplug, oh, did I even plug it in, no, <laughs> No, so it's unplugged, yes. Unplug. Now let's plug it in. Do dim. And it says COM9. So it's COM port 9. And it should start. Well, come on, come on, come on. Let's make it happen. Video did not respond. Come on, maybe I didn't plug it in properly. Again, where's the stupid mouse? Okay, there you go. There you go. I didn't plug it in properly, and now, as you can see here, it's blinking. Maybe it shows on my finger, maybe not. Uh, this little chip head also blinks, and we are downloading the drivers. So this is, these are the frequencies I installed, I manually installed and, and copy pasted all the uh, channels here. These are uh, radio to radio and these are the main channels, the national calling frequency of 2 meters, 70 centimeters. I also installed uh, uh, FRS, GMS, MERS radio frequencies, you see, and the NOAA channel so I can listen to weather forecasts. That's a couple of local uh, towers that I can reach with my handheld. Basically towers are repeaters that repeat your signal. And uh, all the setups are here. So you can modify, change, save, or from saved file you can open them up and up upload it to your other radios. Let's say you have like three, four, five of them. Then you create one file like this. You save it when everything is done. And then you can clone 
the rest of the radius. You don't have to go through one by one by one entrance all over again. Because once you have this image file, then you can upload to your other radius. So this is extremely beneficial. And as you can see, with this type of cable, FTDI, that's the uh, extension. So just remember that, that's what you need to find in a programming radio uh, cable. They, this particular is, I like it because it's very soft, but uh, there are even better ones that I saw uh, with the protective uh, out, outside, you know, layers and uh, everything. So there are a whole bunch of companies making them, but just make sure they are Windows 10, 11 uh, compatible. Uh, if it says Windows 11 compatible, that's uh, pretty much guaranteed that it's backward compatible. So again, I'm not gonna do anything right now. I'll just make sure guys get this thing because otherwise, not necessarily from both end, but uh, others may make them too. This is actually more expensive. It's uh, 24, 25 dollars, I believe, with tax. Uh, so these these are more expensive. There are other companies now making uh, the same for less. Um, however, for example, I read some complaints that from the other companies, the chip just uh, failed after a couple of months of use for some reason. I don't know. So the quality is not the same as usual. However, I just wanted to make this demo to show you guys what this is all about. And only kept these two cables so them demo and as we speak I'm gonna cut them up and throw them the hell out because they caused me so much headaches and I went through the prolific installation but then I noticed that if I try to use a different connection it puts in a different port that I have to reinstall the same and it's a major pain in the back in, in the ass so forget about those cables junker junker forget it get FTDI for your radios and uh, most uh, these very popular Baofeng radios come with the same standard sockets and m most of the other radios as well share the same type of socket which means that they are compatible. Now Chirp, this uh, programming software is uh, is very good because it lists uh, uh, brands, makes, models, look at those. So many different makes and models that uh, there's a good chance that it works. If not, then download the official uh, brand, basically software that you need for your particular radio if it's not covered by uh, Chirp, and go through the same, or after you can check uh, the port, because the port is what you need to know, which is the communication port that uh, the radio connects to your computer in order to be able to program it, obviously. Then you can copy or just uh, tell, uh, enter into your own software the communication port that you can find out with Chirp if you use the help me uh, solution. So it's a, a new feature, it wasn't there previously, at least I don't remember. But the new versions have this help me and you unplug it, plug it and the software recognizes the COM port for you. And guys, believe me, it saves you a ton of headache. So, so <laughs> go with that. Get your FTDR cable, solves your problem. That's it. Thank you for watching.